I just picked up this amazing coin set from Coins TV. I mean, this thing is incredible. A four piece fractional silver eagle set. You get the full ounce reverse proof coin. Look at that. It's got the Fiji symbol on there as well. And then you get the half ounce reverse proof early release and an NGC slab. And then you also get the quarter ounce reverse proof. It, it just doesn't stop. It's a four piece set. It's a 10th ounce reverse proof. Look at that. These are absolutely beautiful coins here. So if you guys are into collecting silver or gold, you know, or just want to invest in coins, whatever you guys collect for, feel free to check out Coins TV. They're selling all kinds of coins and collectibles over there. I'll leave the link below this video. If you have a 1991 penny, definitely watch this whole video. We're going to show you what can make your coins be worth a lot more than their face values. So first up is a not so rare error, you know, it can be on certain dated coins. However, it is a broad strike, which you can see around the rim of the penny there. Some can be much more extreme than this. Uh, in some cases, and this coin is not graded by a coin grading company. It's sold as is for $15. Now, had it been graded, it could have sold for more money. Here's another broad strike on a 1991 penny that sold for $35. It is graded at a Mint State 65 red by Annex. So really just depends on, you know, when you sell the coin, uh, you know, the grade or the condition, and of course the type of mint error. All those things can affect the value of any coin. Now next up is a 1991 penny that sold on eBay for $213. The reason that this coin sold for that price is because it is graded at a mint state 68 red. So if there's not many of these that exist at a 68 red or a 69 or a 70, a 70 is a perfect grade of course. If there's not many that exist at a 68 red, then that's what makes uh, that's what creates the demand, which ultimately increases the value for the coin. Now, if there's thousands of these at a 66 and 67, those aren't going to sell for much at all, maybe five or 10 bucks or something. But in this case, $213 because the grade population is a lot lower for this specific coin at a 68 red. Now here is a mated pair. So you'll see a couple different coins here as uh, it kind of speaks for itself, a mated pair, right? Coin one of two here, graded by NGC. Here is the next coin of that mated pair, coin two of two. Uh, both at a men's state 65 red by NGC, these coins sold together for $184. Now here is a 1991 penny that has been struck off center. Of course, an off center error you can look for on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies. In this case, this coin sold for $32 at auction. So not a super rare mint error, but it's a $32 penny. And then this penny here has been struck 55% off center graded by PCGS. Now this coin ended up selling for $56 at auction. But even at $56, you're not really making anything or making a huge profit after paying to have something like this graded. So it's really up to you if you would like to have your coin graded. It depends on uh, you know, numerous different things like the date of the coin, the type of error, uh, the condition of the coin, if you should get it graded or not. So here's a 1991 D mint mark that has an off center error as well. It's a stretch strike, 75% off center. This coin sold for $129. Now that's uh, a major type of error there. This is another major type of error and that's why this coin sold for over $1,000 at auction because it is a double denomination error. So this is where we have a Lincoln cent design from 1991 that was actually struck on two a 10 cent coin, a Roosevelt dime. So you'll see both designs of the dime and the penny, and that's why the coin sold for over a thousand dollars. Now here's a 1991 S proof penny that was struck onto the wrong planchet. It was struck onto a planchet that weighs 2.6 grams. Now this coin ended up selling at auction for $240. Not too bad, graded by PCGS. So there's actually not that much for the 1991 penny, uh, but don't forget to check out my 2023 penny video. Those pennies are going for a lot of money online and we'll show you why in that video. So just search 2023 penny couch collectibles and you will find that video. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.